Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What is considered low income? Greetings, fact finders. Today, we're going to unravel the mystery that is low income. Now you might be thinking, low income? That's when you can't afford the latest iPhone, right? Well, not exactly. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, HHS, is the authority that sets the federal poverty level, FPL, which is used to determine who is considered low income. Now don't get too excited. It's not as thrilling as it sounds. The FPL is calculated based on the number of people in a household. So, if you're living alone, the FPL is different than if you're sharing your abode with a family of five. In 2021, for a single individual, the FPL is set at $12,880. If you're a family of four, it jumps to $26,500. Now to be considered low income, your household income must be at or below 200% of the FPL. So if you're a single person earning $25,760 or less, you're considered low income. For our family of four, it's $53,000. But wait, there's more. Some programs use different percentages of the FPL to determine eligibility so low income can vary. It's like a choose-your-own-adventure book, but with less dragons and more tax forms. So there you have it, the riveting world of low income. Remember, knowledge is power, and you're now armed with some powerful information. To learn more, check out these links which you can click in the description below, and feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.